Good morning, Ace Retailers. And welcome, Ace Team. The President and CEO of the Ace Hardware Corporation welcomes attendees to the Windy City for the Ace 2012 Fall Convention and Exhibits. Hi everybody, I'm John O'Connor and this is Ace Convention News TV. Well, Ray Griffith kicked things off Thursday morning at the opening general session and touched on a few areas of interest to the Ace family, including the growth of Ace International. With an impressive list of new agreements and letters of intent, Griffith says revenues in 2012 are expected to total $245 million. The company's recent refinancing is another way ACE is leveraging the current economic environment. As you may recall, we budgeted our total revenue to be up 4% for 2012. And I'm happy to say that as we stand here today, our business is up 4.5% and ahead of that plan. Chief Operating Officer John Van Heisen took the stage and lauded ACE's sixth consecutive J.D. Power & Associates Award for highest ranking in customer satisfaction among home improvement retailers. While Ace has plenty to celebrate, Van Heisen urged against a path of prideful hubris, recommending what he calls productive paranoia instead. Feeling energized and inspired after the opening general session, the Ace family then made their way to the centerpiece of the Ace 2012 Fall Convention and Exhibits, and that of course is the exhibit floor. Yeah. Our fall show is always about buying for spring and then our spring show is always about buying for the fourth quarter. So we're focused on lawn and garden, outdoor living, and then ACE is introducing the Paint Valley reset area. There's a lot of ground to cover, so make your first stop the ACE meeting place, where retailers can map out their journey. Every show has at least three very important purposes. One is education, so that we're mutually understanding each other and where we're going. Second is clearly about the buying and merchandise that's on display, new items, new categories, changes to the assortment, and lots of opportunity to buy. Uh, but relationships is a big part of that too, so we kind of have a facilitated session here by having this hub where our retailers can come and tell us what's on their mind and have good conversations. So this layout facilitates that in a big way. The trade show floor features hundreds of exhibitors from dozens of categories, and each has something exciting to offer the ACE team. Now, for a word from the sponsors of Ace Convention News TV. Reliance Water Heaters is giving retailers a unique opportunity to save $25 to $35 on the five most popular tank water heaters they sell. There's no minimum or maximum number that you can order. This is a great opportunity for an independent retailer or an Ace Hardware store to compete with Home Depot and Lowe's on a price-sensitive, project-driven category. Reliance is also the new RSC source for instantaneous or tankless water heaters, a growing category. Retailers can enjoy a 20% savings on the three models in stock. Just visit booth 4219. Over at First Alert, they're showcasing a brand new line of detection and maximum protection products that also incorporates a level of style and a new aesthetic design. Home in terms of the aesthetic look and features and style, as well as it provides them the protection they need for the hazards that may occur in and around their home. First Alert is also offering retailers new packaging and new information on the line of smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, and combination detectors to help draw customers. First Alert is at booth 4848. Looking for some inspiration? Swing by the Ace Advantage area. That's where retailers can learn what sets Ace apart from the competition. We realize that retailers have buying obligations and stuff they're here to do at the store, at the show for their store, but we try to put all the really cool stuff here in one spot. The new is new. Check out what's in store. Literally, the Ace Advantage area is set up so you can see what different programs will look like in your store. Last spring, Ace made quite a stir when it introduced a new overall paint strategy, including the rollout of Clark and Kensington Paint and Primer in One, followed by its Find Your Soul Paint campaign. This week, the Ace family is getting a first-hand look at phase two of the strategy, the updated Paint Valley. Ace is making it easy for retailers to back up their premium product with a premium buying experience. So the Paint Valley bundle is composed of four categories. We have our applicators, our tape, our painter's tools, and our patch and repair. We got some great incentives for our stores to sign up. On average, it's going to cost our stores about $2,500 in product orders, and what they get in return is uh, free resets in store. They're going to get markdown money credits. Um, they're going to get the POP and signage for free, and they're also going to get to have 26 equal installments to pay off 
the $2,500 order. So it's a really great deal and an opportunity for them to, to get ahead of um, the next paint season. Retailers who sign up by September 30th will also get an additional $200 in markdown credits. I think that it's going to make a big impact in all the stores that are affiliated with ACE. Uh, I think it's the programs that they come out with are great programs. Uh, it gives the, the owner, the managers, all the opportunity to see what's coming out. The Paint Valley resets will begin in January 2013. Well, that's it for this edition of ACE Convention News TV. We're going to be back tomorrow with more highlights from the ACE 2012 Fall Convention and Exhibits. And if you're here in Chicago, make sure you pick up a copy of the ACE Daily News. Thanks for watching. I'm John O'Connor. We'll see you tomorrow.